Hi everybody, it's Leanne. It's September 20th, around 5 o'clock, and I'm back along the river where I found the seven structures last week, and I've been doing some more exploring, and I came upon an area not too far away from those other seven structures with five structures. Now the difference is that these structures look older, they look more weathered, they look a bit fallen down, but you can certainly see how beautiful they probably were when they were first built and living their glory days. <laughs> so here's the first one. It's a beautiful teepee just built around this one big maple tree right here. And uh, there's uh, there are these little cross beam sticks. I love these. You see, I see these in so many structures. Like that one there, it doesn't serve any purpose, but it's beautiful. It really is lovely. And all of the wood looks snapped, collected, and um, the top looks all snapped and collected. Here. Actually, it's not built around the maple, it's built around that, that cedar. My mistake. So there we go. So there's one. Very nice. If I turn around, I'll take you over here. There's two here. Oh, there's a nice leaner right here. Oh, where's my finger? Right there. There's two. I'll just walk around here. Now this wood looks a lot older and as I said weathered than, than the other seven structures. Uh, but their design is still you know, very similar. Not too tall like the other ones, like, like a couple of the other ones in the seven structures. Uh, pyramidal in shape, triangles, and built around, this is around a hemlock tree, and um, just a really nice example of the structure. Very pretty. So there's another one, and this one looks a bit fallen down. This could have at one point been uh, a pyramid all around this hemlock as well and maybe just collapsed sideways or maybe it was built like that it's hard to say but I like how these are side by side not too far away maybe 10 feet or so 10 12 feet similar to the other two from the seven structures so there's the other side very nice and there's the two all right, now behind me, let's see if you can see it. There's a big freestanding pyramid, a teepee, sorry. And then another, uh, just freestanding, oh, not quite freestanding, I'm sorry. Another structure. So it has this big cross beam, or excuse me, support beam, wedged up in between those branches here of that, that is a cedar, and then some other, another branch on top of that. And then these are just leaned up against the side. There we go, it's such a hot day today. Now the other side looks broken, or excuse me, it looks fallen. Like things have fallen over. Um, which is why I wonder if it's maybe a little bit older. Could very well be. But anyway, just a nice example. And then there's this beauty, this freestanding teepee. And I've walked around and looked at all the bases of, of this wood, and it's either a root ball or uh, they've just been snapped, which is very interesting. And it's just really beautiful how it's standing really nicely in the middle of this open area. And I'd like to show you this just behind me. There's been two long trees collected and placed parallel to one another just over here. And as I walk through this forest, there's signs everywhere. Snaps, bends, just breaks. Trees like this leaned up along the path and, you know, you know and for a reason I have no idea. Um, but anyway, there you go. I just wanted to show you this. Sorry if I'm a little lost for words today, uh, but I hope you enjoyed 
having a little peek at this area, into this area, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.